Welcome to the scholars learning classes. Let's study about the pollination in this video. See, uh, in the previous video, I've told you about the uh, stamen and pistil. The stamen has anther and anther has pollen grains. Now, when, uh, see, generally uh, pollen grains have a tough protective coat which prevents them from drying up. Now these pollen grains are very light uh, in weight. So these pollen grains uh, can be carried out by the wind or water. Right? Insects also uh, visit the flower and carry away pollen on their bodies. Now some of the pollen grains land on the stigma of a flower of the same kind or the transfer of pollen from the anther to the stigma of a flower is called pollination. So what happens in the pollination? The anther part of the plant is blown by the wind or is taken away by the insect and is transferred to some other to the stigma of the other plant where the new, uh, new flower grows. So this is known as the pollination which means the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of a flower is called pollination. Right? Now see if the pollen grains land on the stigma of the same flower it is called self pollination. Whereas when the pollen of the grains of the flower lands on the stigma of another flower of the same plant it is known as the cross pollination. Now in this picture you can see that the po pollen grains from the anther from this anther are sticking to the stigma of the same flower. This is the stigma, this is the style and this is the ovary. And these are the filament and anther. This is the male reproductive part and this is the female reproductive part. Now when the pollen grains from the anther stick to the Say a uh, stigma of the same flower, then it is known as self pollination. Now, here what is happening? The pollen grains from the one uh, flower is sticking to the stigma of the other flower. This is known as your cross pollination. So, if the pollen grains lands on the stigma. of the same flower it is called self pollination and if the pollen grains lands on the stigma of another flower of the same plant then it is called cross pollination right 
Now what happens after this pollination takes place? Let's understand. Now see when the pollen grain gets uh, stick to the stigma of the female reproductive part it travels through the style to the ovary and it gets attached to the ovule. Now when it gets attached to the ovule the female gamete the male gamete attach it form the zygote. So this forms the zygote. Now the cell which results after fusion of the gametes is called a zygote. Now the cell is formed after the fusion of the gametes like your male gamete and female gamete which means your pollen grains and ovules they form the zygote. Now the process of fusion of male and female gametes that uh, when the zygote is formed is called fertilization and after the fertilization takes place the zygote develops into an embryo and after that it uh, converts itself into a new flower or a new plant this was all about the pollination and fertilization i hope you have under understood this topic completely if you have any doubts any questions please write me in the comment box and please clear up all your doubts and do download our scholars learning app